it's a comics is a name that we decided to put a whole lot of different individual comic book creators in South Africa. There isn't a unified kind of company that actually does comic books, so it was simpler to just call it that South African comic books. We wanted to bring comics to an audience that might not necessarily be familiar with it, but would respect the medium. People are hungry for these things, they didn't know they existed. Suddenly we present them with this and they go, wow, this, this stuff is this real. People have been going like, I didn't know this stuff was so good. People think it's South African, so it must be bad. The way that we got, my generation of people, got into comic books, you would see it in a shop and you'd buy it and you'd read the print stuff. And if you were lucky, something like a movie would come along 10 years That's later and you'd be like, wow, this is awesome. So that next generation of people coming into comic books experience it some, somewhere else first mm -hmm. and then come over to the comic book side of things. Especially coming back to a traditional medium, like things are so easily consumed digitally nowadays, but people are still partial to a printed comic. But one thing I want to ask all of the upcoming writers is let's have some South African stories, because we don't have enough. And everyone's trying to be, over, be American and everything. We know the American formula works and that sort of stuff, but I want to see something about tokoloshis. I want to see something about mind dumps. Like there's, there's so many things that we have in this country and people just think that because it's where we live, it's not that cool and I want people to start thinking differently about this stuff. You have to make stuff. It's, it's down to the illustration or anything else creative. The first thing that you're going to make is not going to be all that great. The second thing, if you pay attention, will be a little bit better. The mm. third thing and so on. You have to keep on making stuff and you have to accept that people are going to say it's not really all that good. Don't guide this thing preciously and hold it to your chest and, and think that it's some precious egg that you cannot drop. Um, you need to be able to give that to someone so that you can take that advice and move forward. And I know it's hard because we all love what we've made, but sometimes it really helps to have someone that knows what they're doing, or even someone that actually isn't familiar with the work but can be honest with you. So to me, creativity is being, is being able to do what you're told not to do and to be able to do it really, really well. Creativity is being able to look at a blank page and to see the possibilities on that page.